I think bookshops are crucial to the high street. You know, they are the heart and soul of the community. Um, people come together, we share events, we share ideas, we spread the knowledge, and that's what everybody needs at the moment. The Cambridge University Press Bookshop, we think it's a really special place. I mean, it's unique. There's, there's no other Cambridge University Press Bookshop. So in that regard, we feel like we can offer a really kind of special service here. We have all of the press publications that are in print we're able to get. People can come in and browse things they wouldn't necessarily find in other high street bookshops. First and foremost, we stand on the oldest bookshop site in the country. There's always been a bookshop here since at least 1584. So we've got an incredible line of booksellers stretching out before us and it's great to be part of that history. Because we've got that kind of pedigree, we do everything we can to uphold that tradition and offer the very best service, the best advice, and we like to think the best books as well. We've been here since 1992 and it's just a really lovely place to work. You know, people think of bookselling as being a very sedentary kind of today occupation, but actually I've been busier than ever. I suppose part of that is we're still trying to connect with our customers, even though sometimes we're in lockdown, you know, some people aren't able to get into town. But yeah, we're going the extra mile essentially to try and connect with people and get the books into their hands. Now we've reopened, it's fine, you know, it's not as quiet as we thought it would be. There's been plenty of buzz in town and we've got loads of measures here that make the staff and the customers feel really, really secure. We appreciated that people couldn't get into town, so we offered free mail order on all books, so there was no barrier to people getting hold of things. We would ship books out the same day, so people typically got their orders the next working day. We also offered a call and collect service, so people could come into town and just collect the books from the door if they wanted to. My colleagues in our education section drew up a list of home education titles so that if people were teaching their kids at home we could advise them on which materials they should use and we kind of kept up with all of our marketing so that people knew what was being published even during lockdown. I think that independent bookshops and the high street are the heart of cities, towns, villages across the country and probably the world for that matter. I think it's really important to support people who are booksellers because they love books and who have a genuine interest in what they're selling. They're operating with personal recommendations and an interest and a kind of level of customer service that you don't get from an algorithm. And I think it's really, really very important, especially now more than ever, to look after and support our high streets and our shopkeepers because otherwise they're going to disappear and the world would be terrible if that happened. Independent shops are really important. I think one of the things that the pandemic has thrown into relief is the importance of communities and people coming together and supporting each other. Now, the high street has been under threat for quite a long time with uh, the rise of online shopping, but I feel really strongly that bookshops in particular are kind of crucial to the life and soul of the high street. I think they should be a staple of every town, just like the butcher, the baker, the post office. We should all have a, a bookshop as well because that is so much the, the focus of the community. At the bookshop here, we're also in quite a unique position in that we are based in the same city as the main offices of Cambridge University Press and we have a really good practical working relationship with the people who actually commission the books and make the books in the first place. We find ourselves, because of our location, on the front line so we get customer feedback which we're always very happy to send back to people to, um, you know, so that they know what the actual people who are receiving their books make of them and more often than not it's very good. We have a really privileged position here in the shop. You know, we, on, on the one hand, we feel like 
any other small independent bookshop. But at the same time, we have this direct line to the press, the editors, the marketing staff. Um, so we're able to feed back the comments that we get from our customers to the editors and the marketing teams. We're able to chase down particular requests for obscure books or obscure details about books that our customers might need. And we also attend lots of meetings with staff at the, at the main site just to feed into our own ideas about what we should be publishing at the moment, how we should be doing that, and what the best ways to reach our readers are.